Hey, how's it going? Vladimir Donis here. So hey, today I want to talk about day two of my 30-day video challenge. And in today's video, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the customer journey. You see, before you do any type of Facebook ads, you want to think about the customer journey. You want to think about, okay, what path do I want that individual to go through from not knowing anything about me to eventually becoming a client or a customer. The thing that I talked about you know, yesterday, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, is that I talked about the journey of someone becoming a lead. If someone is becoming a lead, they certain, there's a certain path and there's a certain journey that that individual needs to follow. By the way, if you need help with this type of stuff this week or tomorrow, actually, I'm hosting a Facebook ads virtual workshop. It's called How to Grow Your Business Using Facebook Ads. There's going to be a link somewhere on this page. You can go ahead and use that link, and that link is going to allow you to register for that virtual event. So essentially, the path that I talked about yesterday is that the individual is going to become a lead. That's the first step that I want that individual to take when they see my Facebook ad. So I'm going to have a, a ad that creates awareness and I'm going to take that individual to a page and that page is going to allow that individual to provide me with their contact information in exchange for their email address. So that's that's the path that I talked about yesterday. That's the path of someone becoming a lead. And for that specific path, I talked about a conversion pixel and that conversion pixel is a lead because that person is becoming a lead. However, today what I want to talk about is I want to talk about a different type of a customer journey because the first step in your marketing funnel or when you think about the, the customer journey, the first thing that you may want that individual to do is you may want that individual to purchase something. So in this case, you may want the customer to purchase a low ticket item. Low ticket is a relative term because low is, is different depending on the individual that you're talking about. But for the sake of this video, let's just say that you, the customer journey, the first thing that you want that individual to do is to purchase, say, a $7 or a $27 product. It could be for e-commerce. It could be, um, you know, an ebook or something along those lines. But the first thing that you want an individual to do is a purchase. So then in that case, if you want that individual to be a purchase, your conversion pixel in that case is going to be a, um, a purchase. So instead of optimizing your ads for leads, you're going to now optim optimize your ad for a for a purchase. The thing that I want you to consider, the mistake that I made early on when I was doing this type of stuff is that I sent individuals to what we call a website. At the time, I had a dating slash a dancing type of a website. And when I sent them there, there were just so many different things that the individual could do that it created conversion, that it created confusion, sorry. So because it created that confusion, it was a lot harder for me to get the conversion that I wanted to. So for you, for a low ticket item, if you have a store or if you have a book or if you have something that's say between that costs between seven to thirty seven dollars and you've decided that the first step in your customer journey is for them to make a purchase when you send them to that landing page just have them take action and just have them buy and just 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 have one thing for them to um you know to consume so from a conversion standpoint don't have a whole lot of different options don't have a lot of things for them to do if it's just one ebook or if it's just one item just make sure that they can only just purchase just that one item and create your content around just that one item. It could be that you have other things that you want to sell them later down the line and that's perfectly fine. That's why you have additional pages, what we call upsells and I'll talk about that later down the line. And that's why now that you have their contact information, you can go ahead and offer them those things to sell later down the line. But for a low ticket item, lead with just one item and then later down the line, you can go ahead and offer them um, additional item. Again, you're going to go ahead and optimize um, your pixel in this case for purchase so that that way Facebook will know when the individuals become a purchase, they can go ahead and find you more of those individuals. So that's the customer journey for a low ticket item. Again, if you need help with this type of stuff, tomorrow I'm hosting a virtual um, class um, and the goal and the goal and the objective is to show you how to grow your business using Facebook ads. There's going to be a link somewhere on this page. You can go ahead and click on that link and the link is going to allow you to register for that, um, for that virtual uh, web class. That's it for this episode. I'll catch you on the next one.